So in terms of men's players of the year, I've got a list on screen. And yeah, so even though players raised, raised overseas contribute just a third of all players, they have comprised almost two thirds of players of the year. So the first three players of the year was Jimmy um, Rooney, born in, in or raised in Scotland. And then the next two was um, Kenny Bowden, played for Newcastle, English player, and Bosnian Croat, uh, Ivor Priskalo, third player of the year. In the late 80s, early 90s, we had, uh, we had the trifecta of the main Balkan countries with Macedonian Zlako Nastevski, uh, Croatian uh, magician Jelko Adzic, uh, and Milan Ivanovic taking out the best player titles three seasons running. So each of these players, I've got photos on the screen now, ended up playing for Australia. Um, Nastevsky, yeah, it was like half a game or so, and he, he went down with a with a crippling injury that effectively ended his first class playing career. Um, playing for Australia was, was, yeah, when that happened. Sadly, um, Jelko Adzic, he played for Australia as well. I think it was against Malmo in 1990. He actually went, when he went back home to Croatia, he, I meant to check this, um, Pretty sure he's the player who scored the first goal for the newly independent Croatian national side in the early 90s. And Milan Ivanovic, of course, uh, 70 times he ended up playing for Australia, including as captain. And uh, Alessandro Diamantio got him on the screen there, um, was the popular men's player of the year last season. <clears throat> now, what's really striking about this list of recent men's players, I've got the list of the last... Uh, 10 or so, or well, 10 of the last play, 11 players of the year in the men's league were from overseas. Okay, so what's so um, striking about this is how geographically diverse their countries of origins are. And then when you add the last two um, W League players of the year, um, Christine Nan and, and uh, Kristen Hamilton, we've got almost every FIFA confederation covered. Um, nationalities. Okay, so on the screen I've got a map of these 85 nationalities of Australian National League players based on where they were raised and initially developed as footballers. Now there's other aspects of nationality or ethnicity we can add, we can give to our players such as countries represented. So as several Australians have fallen into this category. Um, Buddy Farah uh, played for, for Lebanon, Australians. Um, Brendan Garn played for uh, Malaysia. And Anita Burgess caught up for the Philippines. So if we add these countries to the mix, I've got another 16 countries that um, are represented. And then there's, well, the, the, the birthplace itself, where these, what countries these players were, were, uh, were born. We get another, well, in, combined using the th these three concepts I've got on the screen, 120 different countries represented. <clears throat> So, yeah, I think this map really shows the diversity of football at top level in Australia. And I guess what's also just as interesting from this map are the exclusions. So, yeah, there's still parts and parts of Africa. There's a couple of holes in Europe. Um, no, no Czechs. The Czechs had their time before the NSLs in the 50s and especially the 60s. A lot of Czech players made it big time in Australia. Uh, Bulgaria is another hole, uh, a country that we don't really... Um, it's not a big... Um, inflow of Bulgarians over the, over the decades, Arabian Peninsula, Central Asian Republics, um, and then in the southeast, our Southeast Asian region where we do have more of those cultural ties. You know, we don't tend to have those as much with the, um, those other Arabian Peninsula countries, for example. Um, yeah, so not as um, many players from that region, that part of the world have uh, played at national league level <clears throat> and what would fill this map out even more is if we could include the ancestries of players so just like the broader australian population our already diverse uh, national league players have an even wider range of ancestries and ethnicities through their parents including several from southeast asia so the number of A-League players with parents born in Africa has exploded recently. So I reckon we've got 50, uh, 45 players who have played in the A-League with ancest African ancestry, with more destined to make their debut next season. And speaking of ancestry and diversity, the number of Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander National League players is low, albeit prestigious. On the screen, we've got Harry Williams, uh, Bridget Starr, uh, played in the first men's and women's uh, National League seasons, um, 
Jade North, Lydia Williams up there as well. So I've got 20 Indigenous players in my database. I think there's more. Surely I'm missing some. And, yeah, because I just haven't been able to get the data, the information on Indigenous status. And it's a similar data problem that makes ancestry difficult to include in, in my database. It'd be great if clubs uh, increased this type of information for, for their players uh, on their websites or um, just at hand to have to, to media um, by including ancestry to the same prominence as, you know, just the basic stat like a birthplace or a, a birth date or, or, or a position. Because demonstrating that our league's true diversity is something we should all be doing more of. A healthy number and range of overseas influences helps our game learn and grow by rubbing off on our younger local players and by creating a more attractive product. And this diversity lets us promote and be proud of a truly cosmopolitan competition. Thanks.